welcome back to the second segment of the podcast with the prefix of Bishop's College. I'm Dimitri Jawadana. I'm Yanina Bhuteju. I'm Janaki Jayatilakar. I'm Anjali Mahinkandar. I'm Abhinder Rakhavil. I'm Tikri Hera. So in the earlier segment, we spoke about uh, the insight and what your view on the big match and the entire hype uh, with the big matches. So do you all have any questions for us? Uh, anything regarding big any match or any process. questions at all? Uh, so, what is he really like in the boys' team? <laughs> Tell the truth. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, during big match, usually which tent you all stay in? Stay there. Yeah. So, so, that's like right next to the yeah. boys, and right? Mm-hmm. So, you all must be hearing like the songs and all the cheering that goes on in the boys' tent. So, basically, the boys' tent is where all the students of St. Thomas' College come to watch the big match. So, there are a few who go to other tents, but it's usually where all the boys gather and where the entire support comes for the team. So usually it's uh, in the front, you have all the boys who actually watch the match. <laughs> and really, uh, so the small engaged. ones. <laughs> you the the yeah, you have the house basically on the fence and cheering. And then you have a few who are seated and not really bothered about the match. <laughs> and then um, at the back, you have the stalls with everyone eating <laughs> and drinking. Which, but, cate- which category do you all belong to? So, as house prefects, we used to uh, support. I, mean, I, I would say we've gone through all that. I mean, yeah, yeah, through all the things. Yeah. House prefects before, so we have like, past favorite. Including the category that doesn't care about it. <laughs> 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 yeah, we don't know about that category. <laughs> That's like, <laughs> it's not that they don't care about it. Everyone is really interested and everyone yeah, supports. Because yeah, yeah. they all come there to support yeah. the team. But uh, they just take breaks from supporting. So the boys that want to stay with the girls come to stay with us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> You can, <laughs> you can say that if you want, but no, everyone comes to support, it's just that they choose to go to a different tent to just maybe get the experience of a different tent and see what it's like. Yeah. But overall, everyone supports the team from wherever they are. So it's like where the entire school comes together as one cheering squad for the team. So like during the match, do you all mingle a lot with the Royalists or? Stay away from them. <laughs> there, are, there are times that we like sort of get together and we like do to the partners and like do all this thing with them. Mm-hmm. Just like we get together, and there are times where you know the rivalry happens when the game gets intense. Yeah, we have seen the college cups like exchange flags and all. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and you all sing. I mean, no, say the cheer. cheer. Yeah. 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 Some might say that rare that it happens, but uh, it just happens. But you don't like hate. No, there is no. There is no hate. There is no hate. I mean, friendly since competition. Since the game, there is a rivalry. Friendly, yeah. 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 So you all have friends from there as well? Yeah, we have yeah, friends yeah. from there. It's like you all have friends from Ladies College. We yeah, have yeah, friends, friends from, from there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So is Ladies College like the equivalent of Royal College? Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> so I would say the similar rivalry that we have towards. Uh, yeah. So if you all like come to CBC and all, if you all were to come, <laughs> who would you support? Would you wear a purple t-shirt or a red t-shirt? And since we have the honest opinion, like you all were in our first segment, I would say LC. Yeah, I would go with red, yeah. Red, yeah. Red, yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, maybe, she doesn't want to switch sides. Maybe for Yanina, we would bring like a purple <laughs> armband or something just to so that we support okay, Bishops for like okay. a bit. Just <laughs> but if not, it's uh, red, no. red, yeah. <laughs> that's fine. Honest <laughs> opinion, like you all gave honest opinion. <laughs> so you were in prep, right? Yes. So how exactly does prep get involved? Uh, so when it comes to organizing big match, we don't really get involved. But uh, we everyone comes to support, and we usually come on all three days to support the team. And uh, basically, we always come to the boys' tent, and we support and we cheer and get involved in all of that. We get involved in cycle parade, but plan, uh, planning and all, it's we don't really get involved actually. So, but um, we are there to support, and we come for the Royals to watch. Team and, and then all the rugby matches, match no, everything. No that. Separation is such a that yeah. is a part of us, and yeah, like we don't see anything. Yes, yes. So like we all come together and we support as one. There is no like difference. You can't like say it is yeah. in prep or not. Yeah. There is no like big difference. What's the like the cycle parade like? Like I don't think we've ever been a part of that. We see though. Yeah. I, I just. Yeah, we see it. Sometimes you pass our school, I think. Yeah, so it yeah. depends on the route. The routes change every. No, I'm pretty sure some pass deviate and come home. Yeah, so cycle parade, uh, as the name says, there's uh, people cycling, but then there's also vehicles and uh, 
all the students basically get involved in that and it's like we walk around Colombo doing Arthur Aparas and you know with the uh, cheering and all that it's like it's not hyping just up the so there are trucks and there are vehicles and there are so many other things there are bikes yeah it just says cycle yeah, parade just, just cycle parade is it like a compulsory thing to take part or like everyone has to take part I mean, it's not in something that we made compulsory I mean, everyone wants to like, sort of be a part of it it's something that everyone looks forward to you don't really need compulsory everyone will like yeah. come as I mean it's a compulsory. reason to cut school so <laughs> might just no, anyways, there is no school on that day on that so day. Oh. Yeah, where they started and finished it? so last the last time we had cycle parade we started at uh, St. Thomas West Prep and we ended at college uh, so they also joined it the from from prep yeah, yeah. part of everything there like trucking cycle parade not trucking no trucking not So they support you for that, but not for trucking. Yeah. <laughs> the police, uh, I mean. <laughs> police support us other for trucking. Basically, we run away from. <laughs> <laughs> have you all ever gotten in trouble during trucking? So yeah, yeah I mean you stories. Have yeah, have <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we haven't had a person experience, but we've heard a lot of incidents where students do get caught by police. So, I mean, a lot has changed since then. Usually, it used to be trucking, jumping into school, doing some, doing a tour of Parana, and then leaving. This is now your focus is getting away from the <laughs> cops, <laughs> so that's the main focus right now. I think it's like when you're inside the school, you're safe, but it's then once you once step safe. out, it's not so safe, right? But I don't think it's safe inside the school as well. I think I've seen some <laughs> videos of policemen running inside the school and chasing them out. Oh yeah, there was once. I'm not sure if it was your, but there was a cop with a baton, and he was just whacking the wall because everyone was climbing up the walls. Yeah. It was really scary. But wow. we keep our gates open for you all. Yeah, so. yeah. <laughs> you all are not jumping in. You are walking. Yeah, you are walking. You don't have to jump in. But so. I think like jumping over the wall, even if there's a gate open or not, you all like it, right? It's better. <laughs> I mean, you all open the gates, so might as well make use of it. But you yeah. jump over the wall is for. Yeah, we come in large groups. So <laughs> just straight through. <laughs> and now jumping is hard. I think because now if there are like fences and yeah. all that, so I don't think it's that easy. And even like on the day of trucking, when we like leave school, we see slippers everywhere on the road. I think it's because like after you run away from the cops and stuff. I think slippers are like like the least of their bodies. They lose it. They save their lives. I mean, if you run barefoot or even if you lose a t-shirt, I don't think anyone cares. <laughs> so as long as you end up in jail. How is like the team like this year? Are you all going to win? <laughs> We are confident that we have a good team. I mean, this year it, we have very few colors. No? It's basically a fresher team, but um, we are confident that our team will do well. I mean, we have a very uh, we have side with good potential. Visual thinking. Should we also clap down the vice captains? Uh, no, not really. Yes. Yeah. The captain is Charlie Dimmel, and uh, vice captain is Brian Fanatic. I am upset that you all can't go to box this time in person. Which yeah, that's a big miss. I mean, like, even for us, <laughs> we'd like to organize all of this with all the next year. So it's completely different, like because most of the stuff, it's not going to be like a physical uh, big match where everyone can come together and really uh, support and watch live, right? Yes, so yeah. compared we'll, to last year, yeah, we'll basically have to watch it at home from a screen or from a phone or something. So it's going to be entire uh, different uh, scenario. But um, we have to keep the things going like what we usually do. So stuff like the uh, souvenir and all, it will be published uh, online as an e souvenir, and we'll also have a limited edition souvenir coming out. And we also have a website uh, 
for the big match where we will have updates of the big match and uh, everything related to the big match so uh, there are changes like that so um, yeah, yeah since we can't physically you know be there to watch the game we'll be live streaming do you think it will affect the cricket like the players knowing that there is no crowd yeah. watching yeah. and I mean, such like that i think that would be a big miss for them i mean that did you know that sort of it like hypes them up hype, no yeah, yeah. 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 Not hearing you talk about and someone screaming yeah. your name. Mm. It's gonna be a totally different atmosphere for them compared to last. Year. It'll be like another normal match they play during the season, right? Like yeah. very few people. Do you like the hype not there this year? So yeah, I mean the hype is not there because of the restrictions, right? Yeah. Say cycle parade, you can't have cycle parade, then trucking and all that. It's not uh, yeah, basically I mean, you can't do any of that. I mean, compared to last year, would have the students at school. And like during this time, we get these small guys doing a tour of our after school, and then we have these bands, such as that, yeah. seeing these flags and all. And we don't get students going in bands, obviously now because of the COVID nineteen situations. So yeah, there's a lot of. Do you all feel like a difference in the entire hype band? Oh, definitely. I mean, yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 It's, it's like I think recently uh, we were talking in school, and I don't know. There was like. a bunch of i don't know boys that came for something and then we have like really blonde friends and then someone just came and said there are some ayers or something in school and they're like boys came boys <laughs> jump <laughs> but no <laughs> no not this year so i'm looking forward to the boys jumping into school and i mean well, yeah i i think <laughs> it it it's worse for those who it's their last year in school yeah so it's like we didn't know that our last trucking and all of that stuff Yeah, stuff with all us yeah like we haven't had it like 3 years now i think we feel the same too i mean even for the guys uh, who are doing the last few years i think it's the same situation for same us as well right? but i mean we have to deal with the situation and deal with what we have right now so uh, so do like the small i mean the small boys who don't i mean they are a little too small to you know get used to the whole Why with big match? How do you all like make them excited yeah. about the match? They so, don't really know what's happening, right? Yeah. So, like uh, usually in college, when it, uh, when big match gets closer, we put up posters and then we have like tour of ours in college. And basically, when you walk into college, you know that okay, this is the big match season. You have flags uh, put on the buildings. So right uh, in college, we are still going to continue that uh, tradition of putting up flags and banners so that. Even the small fellows, even though they don't know when big match is happening, they still know. Okay, yeah. something do when big match is happening <laughs> when they see the flags and the banners. So we are doing what we can to keep the hype going and keep the spirits alive. So having Michael Kisera as your grandfather, what are the sort of experiences that you've heard that he has had? Like first of all, he's super humble. He doesn't even say anything about it. I wouldn't even know unless like my mom and all told me. And yeah, so he played. Also at fourteen, um, yeah, and he kept an us for like two years for a team. Yeah, and he kept in the international team for ten years. I didn't even know that he'll last me. What? <laughs> he, he never tells. He's like, hey, what is that? <laughs> you know, <laughs> like that. So yeah, that's why I'm super interested in Tora and the cricket team. That's why, like, I know what the game is and the rules and all. Like, people find cricket boring, but like. <laughs> so you don't like to a volunteer in its life because <laughs> of your grandfather. <laughs> I mean the same case with your right. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys are one of the. But I think we also met uh, Michael Kishan yeah. I think what you said is really like a really humble yeah. guy and really. He just nice. said this thing about his achievements. Yeah. So But having someone like that from St Thomas College going on represent the country I think that's a great honor and it's a proud yeah. Do you have us. more like potential players like that coming up? So I believe we have, uh, we will have, and we have players who will go on to represent Is Sri Lanka. Is it Yes, he's uh, he played for Sri Lanka. He represented Sri Lanka on a tour, yeah. and uh, he is training in Sri Lanka as well. But uh, I don't think he has reached Michael Sayer's legacy as of yet. But the uh, bar is set a bit high. He'll get there. Get oh. there someday. He'll get there. <laughs> so, so what is it like? Feel like to get into a fight with three eight thousand boys versus two thousand boys. Yeah, again, it's like quality or quantity. So <laughs> <I think> <laughs> really. <laughs> But yeah, so it's 
not 8000 was because i mean everyone doesn't get involved but yeah. uh, so i think last year the last time we had a big match there was a fight as well after the match so <laughs> we have our own personal experiences yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we were we were stewards at that yes that time. so we couldn't really get involved in it but we Oops. ended up getting dragged into the fight <laughs> we didn't get dragged into it what is it was most of the body yeah whose side are you on but as stewards aren't you supposed to stop the fight Yeah, so we get involved in stopping the fight, but, but then, then get involved in yeah. fighting the fight. Who usually starts it though? <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 She knows what happens. Yeah. I can agree with that. Who I side are you on? Neutral. Neutral. So what is the reason? For the rush, no? Like the mm, let me get it. To be in. honest, <laughs> we don't know. Like <laughs> there could be many reasons. I mean, it could be the result of the game. Or be sometimes because of a girl. Sense. No, can be. <laughs> <laughs> To be honest, if one person just you know, yeah. taps one person, that's you know that's for the fight to escalate. Have you had sort of witnessed any fights with people? Yeah, yeah. Heyman. Hey- yeah, we did. I we think. Have. Super scared. We haven't gone for a Heyman. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I mean, it's almost it's almost it's almost every year. Yeah, that's yeah. yeah. <laughs> you it's experience. Like almost every year. Yeah, last. No, not last year. Yes. Before that, there was a fight, huge fight, right? Yeah, first leg and second leg. The oh, fight oh. on the first leg was continued on second leg, I think. <laughs> I think you're more updated on the fights than the Royal Rumble matches. That's how we go. I don't know. <laughs> But yeah, so it's like um, it's a good experience. I mean, to get involved in a fight like that with eight thousand versus two thousand. But I mean, going for. a big match or something and not getting involved in a fight like it's kind of like what's the point you know it's like part and parcel like it's something I mean, it's you have to be a part of it's a common thing you know yeah. it happens every day so there's no there's never been injured ever gone beat match come cast when we have a big match the one or two people i mean we know one person who went in and then came back with like broken spectacles and <laughs> Yeah, so it was uh, fun stuff no yeah. <laughs> but i mean as brave as him to go and try to stop the fight yeah. but came to what had happened so i mean um, if if you all like got caught in the middle of the fight how would you all react like i would get into it <laughs> totally <laughs> have <laughs> someone she would, i would so you would even always to <laughs> she would probably end up hitting anyone who comes close yeah. to me <laughs> <laughs> oh god <laughs> so there is this thing where uh, some people don't wear the t-shirt uh, colors like either royal colors and dominant colors During him and because they're afraid to get in fights. Oh yeah. Are you all like? You wear like white or like neutral. No, no, I wear black. No, we wear the royal T-shirt itself. No <laughs> colors. Yeah, 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 I wear. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know those old art pieces. How it's like the nails painted yeah. blue and gold, and the hat then and this is the mark. <laughs> so we are coming to an end of this podcast with the prefix of Bishop's College. It's been a enjoyable one, and we would like to thank. the prefects of Bishop's College and the principal for accepting our invitation to be here today and we'd like to thank the viewers for staying tuned for this segment thank you What is your coping mechanism? What are you battling today, my friends? Use the privilege of prayer and posture your heart in submission. Let's trust God to work everything out for our good as he promises. Oh, 